Hi friends, today we will discuss the two's complement at a subtractor unit using code adders. C error here means carry look ahead adders. Well, how is the operation carried out? At first, get the two's complement of the subtract, then add the minu end to it, and if the final carry over of the sum is 1, then drop it, it indicates that the result is positive. If there is no carry over, the two's complement of the sum will be the result and it is negative. Now let us perform the subtraction of 1101 and 0101. Now we all know 1101 in decimal means 13 and 0101 in decimal means 5. Now, in our case, this is the minute end, this is the minute end, and this is the subtra end. So, we need to find out the two's complement representation of 0101. So, how to find out the two's complement of 0101? Just invert this pattern we get 1010 we'll call that one's complement and then add a 1 to it what we get is 1011 now add the subtra end with the menu end what we get is 1000 and there is a carry which is 1 now if there is a carry this indicates that the result that we have obtained is positive and we can easily neglect this. After dropping the carry, we get the result as 100. Zero, zero. Now, we all know the binary weights are written as 8421. Now, our minute end was 1101, one, which indicates that it's a 13 and decimal number system. Again, it's 8421, that means it's 5 since 1 is written below 4 and another one is written below 1 hence if we add this 2 we get 5 so what are we doing we are subtracting 5 from 13 what we get is result 8 now let's do the reverse one now we have a example where 0101 minus 1010. We all know uh, 1010 is the binary representation of 10. So if we subtract 10 from 5, obviously the result would be 5. And we have to remember one thing is the two's complement representation is a way of representing negative numbers in binary domain. Now let's Take the minor end as 1010 and the two's complement of subtraction that is invert this 0101 plus 1 will provide you 0110. Hence, if we add these two, what we get is 1011. Now, since there is no carry, the carry is 0, hence it indicates that the result is negative result and hence the number that we have received after the subtraction is nothing but the two's complement representation of minus 5 hence hence if we look into the binary weights it's obviously this is 5 and this was 10 and when we subtract that the two's complement representation gives us minus 5 now, in two's complement representation, the most significant bit's weight is actually minus. So, if it is 1, then we'll have to take minus 8 plus 2 and plus 1, which is nothing but minus 5. Now, let's see how we can carry the entire process using a simple parallel address and few exclusive objects. Now the basic diagram of this parallel adder 
and the exclusive OR gate, which combines and we get a two component subtractor unit where we have a control inverter where one of the pins of the exclusive OR gate are tied up together to form a control pin. The other inputs take up one of the binary inputs and the other binary inputs are provided at B3, B2, B1 and B0. So here we will provide the binary end and we will get the two complement of subtrain here. Now let's seek an example that is the case number one. In case number one, the subtra, subtra end was given 0101 and the minute end was 1101. Now, 1101 is directly applied to the parallel adder, whereas 0101 is first inverted. Now, how do we do that? Now, let's, let's assume this control to be M. And if it is 1, what happens is one of the terminals of the exclusive orbit is 1 and if the inputs are dissimilar, it will detect it at the output. We also call the exclusive OR gates as inequality detector. That means if the bit patterns are different at the input, the output is high. So if one of the input is 1 and another one is 0, definitely it will give a 1 at the output. So what we can see is if one of the input is 1 and one of the input is given 0, the inverted one is available at the app, but the similar thing happens to the other exclusive OR gates and what we get is a one's complement. Now, to get a two's complement, what we need to do is we need to add a one to this. So what we do is we connect the wire from the control M to the carry in. So what it does is it will add up one with one zero one zero. Hence internally we will get 1011 and that will get added up with the minor end and the result that we will get is 1000 and since c out is 1 we can assume the result to be positive and we will accept this as a result now let's take up case number 2 the minor end was provided 0101 and the subtra hand was provided 1010 again Applying the similar concept, if we add what we get is one's complement that is 0101, and since it has been connected to the C in, one gets added up internally and it gets 0110. And when these two get added up, what we get is 1011, and there's no carry. And when there is no carry, it shows that this is a negative number and negative numbers are always represented in two's complement fashion so this is minus 8 plus 2 and plus 1 will give you minus 5 now the same circuit can also be used as a simple adder a 4 bit adder now what we do is we will connect the end to 0 when it's connected to 0 obviously c is 0 and whenever we provide a zero at the input of the exclusive OR gate, the other terminal, if it is one, will get the same thing at the output. So, what we can see here is we have one zero one zero, and the same thing comes out one zero one zero. Now, when one zero one zero is added up to zero one zero one, we get the result as one 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 one, which is actually which is actually 15 and what we had at the input was 5 and 10 hence we get a result 15 so this entire circuit can be sometimes used as an adder and sometimes can be used as a subtractor this circuit forms a very important part in arithmetic logic unit of any microprocessors thank you for watching the video i hope you have enjoyed wait for other videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.